In this module, you will learn how to multiply decimal numbers. If one brownie costs 47 rupees and 75 paise, how much will 3 cost? To calculate the total money spent on 3 brownies, we just multiply 3 by 47.75. Now, 3 is a whole number and 47.75 is a decimal number. To multiply a whole number by a decimal number, we first multiply the two numbers ignoring the decimal. We get the product as shown here. Now, we need to insert the decimal point in the answer by counting the decimal places in the original decimal number. There are two digits to the right after the decimal point. So, we will insert the decimal point two places from right to left in the answer. Therefore, the total money spent for three brownies is 143 rupees and 25 paise. Tom's father bought 2.5 kg strawberries for 65 rupees and 50 paise per kg. What is the total money spent? To find the total money spent to buy the strawberries, we have to multiply the quantity of strawberries, which is 2.5 kg with the price per kg, which is 65 rupees and 50 paise. To multiply two decimal numbers, first ignore the decimals for both the numbers and multiply them. On multiplying, we get this huge number 163750. Now, there are two decimal numbers here. The first number has one decimal place while the second has two. So, we will add the decimal point three places from the right to the left in the product. That gives us 163 rupees and 75 paise. Decimal numbers can also be expressed as fractions. We can remove the decimal and convert the numbers into fractions. Now, let's see how you would multiply a decimal number with 10, 100 or 1000. 3.35 can also be written as 335 upon 100. We multiply the fraction with 10, 100 and 1000 respectively. We simplify and insert the decimal point by counting the decimal places in the original number. So we get 33.5, 335 and 3,350 as answers. Notice that when multiplied by 10, the decimal point has shifted by one place to the right from the left. When multiplied with 100 and 1,000, the decimal point has shifted two places and three places from the right to the left respectively. There is a shortcut you can use while multiplying decimals with 10, 100, 1000 and so on. While multiplying a decimal number with 10, 100 and 1000, the digits in the product will remain the same. But the decimal point in the product will shift to the right by as many zeros as there are in the number it is multiplied with. In this module, you learnt that to multiply a whole number by a decimal number, you should first multiply the two numbers ignoring the decimal. Then, insert the decimal point in the product by counting the decimal places in the original decimal number.